complex. Um, the next thing is very important part is the, um, the learn how to contracting the prostate gland and learn how to contracting the uterus. Okay, so um, the uterus and the prostate gland are very important part and is the most direct connection to the pineal gland. Okay, so um, the pineal gland um, we call the gland of light and enlightenment. Okay, and the gland gland of day and gland of night, gland of day and night. So there is in why we so much about these uh, two glands in the work. So um, to contract the prostate gland and the uterus. Uh, it can, uh, it's involved so much about the eye muscle. So when you, when you contract, like lady, when you squeeze, like this gentle, squeeze the vagina, very gentle, squeeze the vagina, and you contract the, and, and contract the um, men, con, lady, pull the perineum, testicle and perineum. And when you contract your eye, you feel some very deep muscle there, uh, go in there, okay? So you contract that part, okay, you contract that part. And that one, uh, when you feel this one squeeze, and the brain in the center also squeeze tight, and that is the prostate gland and the uterus, because they are the prostate gland and the uterus have very closely connection with the pineal glands. So sometimes in the Taoism we call the pineal gland is the second sexual organs. Is the second sexual organs. Okay, so whenever we contract them, you activate the pineal gland together. Okay, so let let's sit properly. Put your uh, um, relax. Okay, now so um the eye is very connection to the uh, prostate prostate gland and the uh, uterus and the. It, the paying attention is very important. When you pay attention to your prostate gland, you, you, you know you have one, unless um, I mean, um, you have a problem with it. So it's right down here. So if you, if you put your hand on the pubic bone, okay, and you press deep a little bit, gentle down, for ladies behind there, behind here, down there, is the uterus. For men, it be below there, is the prostate gland, okay? It's right between here to here. It's the prostate gland. And uh, it's, a tool, it's one of the two, uh, one of the things that we really, we don't pay attention to it until we get problem, okay? Until we get problem, a cyst uh, and, 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 and tumor and cancer. And we say, oh, something wrong there, <laughs> okay? And uh, because we don't pay any attention to it. So that is the problem that we have there. Okay, so let's do that. So this is a very important exercise, Qigong, that you really can practice anytime. Okay, so um, if you put your hand on the pubic area here, so inhale and exhale, flatten down. Now inhale. Let's do a few we call lower abdominal breathing first, okay? And that is exactly you breathe in your sexual organ. So inhale. Expand. Now exhale. Bend a little bit and let it let your finger go in. Let your finger go in. Now inhale. Push your finger out and exhale. Feel your finger go in deeper, 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 and you feel something there. That is your uterus, and below there is a prostate gland. Inhale, breathing in, breathing, in, pushing again your finger and push down more, push down more, and exhale. Flatten down, flatten down, let your finger go in deeper and deeper and deeper. Inhale, pushing out, 
pushing out, pushing out, pushing out and push out. And exhale. Flatten down your stomach. Flatten down your stomach. Flatten down your stomach. Inhale. Pushing out, pushing out, pushing out. Expand, expand, expand. And exhale. Feel it. Feel that the uterus and the prostate gland right, right under there. Inhale. And exhale. When you exhale for men, lightly feel your prostate, your, your testicle pull up. Lady, very lightly squeeze your vagina, very gentle. And inhale. Expand, press again your finger. And exhale. Inhale, push again your finger. And press down to your sexual organ. And that is your prostate gland and your uterus there. Okay? Now, that breathing. Inhale. And exhale again. Inhale. Very gentle. Contract your perineum and your anus. And your eye, like the your eye, your eye pull in like this. Your eye pull in. And roll up a little bit. Set your eye backward like this. Set your eye like that. And I want you to feel that when you suck your eye backwards and you are aware of your sexual organ, <clears throat> you feel more pull, more contraction like this. Okay? You feel more contraction in your eye. Um, and your sexual organ have more suction. Okay? More contracting your eye back. And exhale. Inhale, so in, your eyes are in, and the perineum suck in. And when you pull your eye, you feel something in your brain, more active, the brain. Okay? And exhale, flatten down your stomach, flatten down your stomach. Now inhale, suck up, contract, suck in up, more pull up, and feel something in your brain. And exhale. Inhale, pull up. Roll your eye, look up. Look up to the crown. Feel something in your brain, activate. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Rest. Smile to your sexual organ. And your hand touch the, the crown. And smile to your crown. Feel your sexual energy organ and the crowd connection into one connection, one pipe, one pipe connection, okay? One connection pipe. So, can you feel a little bit more that... Um, you feel more energy in the head? Hmm? How many of you feel that? That's good, okay? And that really going to be shut up your brain, <laughs> okay? Because the sexual energy is the original energy. And you can tell the original energy to do anything, okay? When the cells split, and the original cell, when they split, they get the information. They are the same. When they split, they are the same. So you say, okay, you become the sexual organ, you become the brain. They all come out of the same cells and they tell the information and develop to be whatever they've been assigned to. So we come from the same cells and that is the sexual cells. Okay? And that's why the sexual energy is very important. It's a creating power, generating power, and a force and a power. And that is the sexual energy. Okay? So, um, now the next Qigong is involved with the spinal cord. Our spinal cord are connect, especially the sacrum, okay? 
the the sacrum and the lumbar. The sacrum have a closely connection to all the uh, the sexual organ, from the lumbar two, lumbar three, lumbar four, all connecting to the sexual organ. So when you rub your sexual organ, uh, rub your sacrum, okay, you actually have a connection right into the sexual organ, okay, and you you learn how to spiral and move the sacrum back and forth, and. Uh, so now in the Tao practice is so emphasized in the uh, what we call by moving the sacrum, okay, and the, um, the sacrum is where all the nervous system of the I mean all the other nervous system that go down to the feet go to the other place, including the sexual organ, uh, come out from here, from the from the sacrum. So um, if the sacrum don't work. The whole problem we have is we sit on the chair. We sit on the sacrum. Sacrum is the pump. So you sit on the pump every day, it don't work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Especially you sit and sit right there on the sacrum, and the sacrum don't move. Sacrum are supposed to be moved. Okay? Support, support to be moved. If you don't move them, you get big trouble. Okay? So um, the sacrum movement, so we have a lot of sacrum movement, like you moving the sacrum here. And in the olden time, this sacrum movement, it, they call a very sacred dance. Okay? So they train all the virgin girl to dance like this, newt to God. <laughs> God likes to watch them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, so, um, so the whole exercise is involved with the sacrum, uh, sacrum movement. Okay? And that is involved so much about the sexual energy. And um, so um, we, we don't see this kind of movement before, okay? And because only the priests are allowed to watch and not any people to watch. <laughs> and later on, when we started to see Elvis Presley you know, doing this and Michael Jackson doing this, and so, oh my God, this is very, very sinful <laughs> moving this. But that is a sacred dance. <laughs> it's a holy dance. They dance to God to see on it, to watch, and we don't see them. <laughs> and we think that is very, very dirty and very sexy. But I tell you one thing if you don't move that, you're going to get pain on the back, pain on the leg, pain, everything. You know? And the, 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 the sacrum is like the tailbone. It's built to move. <laughs> like the animal no need, uh, animal no need the uh, chiropractor. Because every day they wrap the tail like this. You know? <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> and we're just sitting, we sit on our, our tailbone and we don't move the tail. And we get big trouble. Let's stand up and do the sacrum movement. First, learn how to spiral. So in the Tao techniques, oftentimes we're talking about screwing technique, not bumping technique. So there is so much um, uh, involved with the sacrum. Okay? So that's why they said the man penis have to stick with the sacrum, not stick with the hip. <laughs> stick with the hip, you, you cannot, you cannot you turn. Okay? And uh, that is very important. So you spiral the sacrum. Spiral the sacrum, okay, and reverse the direction. Now, if you have back pain, sciatic nerve pain, all these things, if you move your sacrum enough, you avoid a lot of pain, okay, avoid a lot of pain, and you move back and forth. And spiral again. Now, the um, the the sacrum and the spinal cord breathing is very important part. So when you involve with first, you tilt your sacrum back up, and you turn your spinal cord in like this, and inhale and exhale. Now, your sacrum have to move back and forth, back. So when you push in like this, you curve. When you curve in, your back is round. Like when you break suddenly, okay? 
when you see somebody run suddenly across you, you're holding the sturdy and you press your leg and you firm like this. So your, your sacrum actually tuck in and your lumbar around and your head go like this. Okay? And you feel, actually, this is very good exercise. Okay? And when I drive a long distance, I, I always have to find a way to press until my spine because this one will activate the spinal cord fluid flow. Okay? And in the Tao Sam said, if you learn how to contract the anus and aware the sexual organ, and when you contract up and you push like this, you actually draw the sexual energy upward. Okay? It flow toward the lymphatic, uh, it flow toward the spark of fluid to get up to the brain. And that's what we live that way. Oh, uh, we don't do that yet. I just tell you that when you're good enough, you can when you exhale. When you exhale, you inhale, exhale, you set, you exhale all. When you exhale all, when you finish, you hold your breath and you lightly suck your sexual organ up and you feel your brain actually contracting. Okay? So, inhale, duck tail. Let's see your duck, duck tail. See your duck tail? Okay? Duck tail. Very important, your duck tail. Okay? And your chin like this. Now, exhale. Second tuck in, the spinal cord curve and the chin push like this, the, the, the cranial are activate. And inhale. And exhale. Now when you exhale all, very gentle, suck, pull up your sexual organ. And just pull up and you feel the sexual energy right up to your brain. Right up to your brain. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Tighten your spine, squeeze your spine, and feel the energy go up. And inhale, one more. Exhale. Fatten the your stomach, lightly contract your sexual organ anus, and feel the energy pump up to the crown. And inhale, relax. And shake a little bit. Shake it. Only exhale. Exhale. And sucking up. Yeah, exhale and sucking up. Okay, rest. Uh, the question is that you, you draw up, you contract the anus all the time. Say no. Only when you exhale and you pull up and you feel it go up to the brain. Okay. Um,